wondered about the new coaster board found in the Stampin' Up! Uh, catalog for 2013-2014. It's found on page 156 and it kind of caught my curiosity. I wondered if it was going to be a lot like the chipboard that we had, but it's totally different. It comes in the same size sheets, I believe, um, but what's different about it is is that it's much thinner. Um, it's not as thick as coast, it's not as thick as chipboard, but it's not as um, thin as uh, cardstock. So it can give a lot of depth to your projects. Um, it feels very uh, textury, um, so it, it just lends itself to a lot of different projects. So I've been kind of experimenting with it. I used it at my team meeting the other day, and they loved it also. They were very surprised at the way it looked, and that's exactly the way I thought too. Um, it looks a lot like suede when you're done, um, and this is the card that I had done with them. I absolutely loved it. Um, it came out really nice, and like I said, when you're done with it, to touch, to feel, and to look at it, it looks like suede. So let me show you how I got that look. With the first card, what I did was I ran the chipboard or the uh, coaster board through uh, the embossing folder. And this one, I just happened to use one of our new ones. Um, and you can use any of them. Any of our, our um, embossing folders would work. But this is the one that I had used. And um, after I ran it through, I got out my brayer and I decided to brayer it. Um, so since it looked like chipboard, what I thought I would do is I would use soft suede. Or uh, since it looked like suede, I thought I would use my soft suede ink. So what you want to do is just literally um, run over it with your brayer, okay? And when you're done, it gives you this amazing look. Now, what's nice about this uh, embossing folder and many of the embossing folders, you can use either side, okay? You can get it as heavy or as, as light as you want. So here's one side, and I did this side previously. Um, that's the one, uh, the same side that I had done um, these are the two that kind of look alike, but it also looks really nice on this side also. Okay, so that's one way that you can use the coaster, the new coaster board. Another way that I used it was to take my um, my letter um, my letters from my Big Shot and um, run those through them. When I did that, this is the card that I came up with, and um, you can see that it just gives itself gives the card a lot more depth to it. Um, I I want to show you how I colored them. I didn't use the brayer on this because that would have meant that I would have, have had to have ke um, kept cleaning it. So here's the card. Let me just set that aside and let me show you how I did that. After I ran out the out when I ran the letters through my big shot, okay, I had I have um, one of the letters. I took some painters tape. You can use this is painters tape, and, and the nice thing about painters tape is that you use it. It's kind of like our washi tape. You can use it, and then it peels right off your wall. You can use masking tape, but you want to be a little bit careful after you take this off because um, you don't want to rip the back of it. So what I did was I just took a piece of it, and I, I put it into a little circle. And I stick my fingers into it. I take the back of it um, and just tap it onto the back of the letter. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my... I'll take Daffodil Delight, and um, the way I colored these was to take my painter's tape and just dab them in here. And when you do that, it's just so easy. And then what I would do is I would just let it set aside to dry. And after it's dried, you just take them off and put them on your card, and you're good to go. The other thing that works really well with our new coaster board are our framelits. I wanted to see if it would cut through the... the um, the coaster board using our framelits because our framelits um, are not as, as thick as the Big Shot, um, the dies. So what I did was I ran one through and it, it came out absolutely gorgeous. So there's just a couple of ideas that you can use the new coaster board with. I hope you try it. It's not expensive. You get eight sheets um, and it's only $5.95. Um, one other little trick with that, if your edges come out a little bit rough, what I've been doing is taking my sanding tool and just sanding them. Um, it doesn't really come out rough, but if it does after you're cutting them, just take your sanding tool and sand them down. This comes out absolutely gorgeous, as you can see. Okay, thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you try the new coaster board. Take care.